coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to a brand new tutorial series and in this series we're going to be covering algorithms. So we're going to be starting from beginner algorithms and working up to more intermediate to advanced algorithms um, if, um, if people are interested in this tutorial series. Uh, so first uh, and foremost, what an algorithm is, if you don't know, is it's a set of instructions to perform certain operations or to solve a problem um, in a computer program. So that's just a very high level explanation of an algorithm. So uh, we're going to be learning on how to do these and we're going to first start off with common algorithms um, like uh, be beginner algorithms like bubble sort, merge sort, insertion sort, blah, yada yada yada. And uh, we're going to be getting into sort of which one is the best for a certain situation, what's the advantage of it, uh, what is the efficiency of it, and yada yada yada. So we'll be getting into all that stuff. And in order for you to understand it, I expect that one, you are not a beginner. If you have, if you're a beginner programmer, uh, or um, or you do not know uh, a programming language well enough, then I advise you to at least learn the basics of a, a computer language and then come back. As for your your math, your math doesn't need to be super strong for the beginning part. Uh, but as we get into more advanced topics, your your math knowledge. Uh, needs to become more advanced, but we will get more. I will explain to you what math knowledge you need in order to continue with those more advanced tutorials. So, uh, if you are an advanced program or somebody who is uh, who uh, is familiar with algorithms but just wants to kind of recap, this is a perfect tutorial series for you. Uh, perfect as a reference. Uh, and if you're a big, uh, if you're just learning about algorithms, it's, it's perfect to learn how the algorithms work um, from ground up. We'll be building algorithms from ground up and to see how they work. We might not be going in depth, super in depth into every single one. Uh, so if you want to learn the intricacies of every single one, then you might have to use Google and stuff. But I will let you know uh, which ones you could actually learn more about. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to be uh, covering a, a brief, uh, brief explanation of asymptotic notation. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's just a fancy word of saying uh, the rate of growth as the size or data reaches, um, the size of the data reaches towards infinity. And I know that might not make sense to some people, make make sense to other people, but. Uh, Basically, let's say for example, I have a computer made in the year 2000 and you have a computer made this year, which is 2014. Uh, and we both created an algorithm and I ran my algorithm. My algorithm took five seconds to run and yours took two seconds to run. Does that mean that my algorithm is worse than yours? Not necessarily, because I'm running mine on older hardware, so it's obvious that it's going to run slower than on newer hardware. But that doesn't, so we can safely determine that we cannot use time to measure how efficient an algorithm is. Uh, so in order to determine how efficient your algorithm is, we use something called the big O notation to determine the algorithm's efficiency. And um, it does a good job in, in measuring it. So we're not going to be covering everything now. Once we get into the different algorithms, I'll be explaining um, what what uh, notation it is, what big O notation it is. But uh, I'll just be showing you a quick example right now. So let's just say that we created an array. And let's just say it's a temp array. And we have, um, we have 10 elements in there. And I'll just put uh, so I'll put ten different values. So let's say I wanted to get the number ten. Say it wasn't ordered or whatever, but let's just say like I wanted to search and I wanted to find out what the number uh, ten was. So we'd have to loop through the size, which is ten. And we would uh, we'd say okay if temporary i is equal to ten, then see out this right here just means a print. 
and so we're printing something to the screen and we'd say found and so we'd write that and we'd say okay we found it and so what's going on in here so in order for us to actually find the value 10 uh, let's just say that to check each uh, index in our array it takes a second okay so uh, if it takes a second to reach each index then to search through this whole array we to get to the number 10 it's going to take a total of 10 seconds so the time that it takes to traverse through the array is proportional to the size of it now say we cut this down in half to 5 then rather than taking 10 seconds it will be cut down to 5 seconds right because the size of it is in fact 5 so the so it is proportional to the size of the actual array and this is what we call big O of n so n meaning the size of the data so in our case the size of the data is the size of the array and so the efficiency or the speed is proportional to the size of the data simple enough as it is now we're going to check out something another one right now and then in the next tutorial we'll be uh, looking into uh, or uh, maybe not the next tutorial but um, we will be looking to into the other uh, different types of notations and other tutorials so now let me I'm going to create a, a vector and a vector is in uh, is the same as say an array list in Java or a list in C sharp or basically the same thing uh, so we're gonna it's basically a dynamic array let's look at it like that so we're gonna say we're taking a vector of ints and I'm just gonna call this you know I'll just call it temporary just so uh, whatever just so we don't have to or actually whatever we'll call it temp vector and we're gonna give it a size of 10 so our temp vector is a size of 10 and let's get rid of this right now now if I was to do C out which again is a printing just printing a value and if I was to call this and I say size to get the size of it and this just means end the line so it's the same as saying backward slash n just for you guys that are um, confused uh, but the size by getting the size right here it doesn't matter what the size of the vector is or what the size of the array is the size of the array could be 10,000 for all we care 100,000 the size doesn't affect the the speed to call this right here and so this is what we call um, big O of 1 so it's a constant so the size doesn't affect the return value of whatever we're getting so uh, that's just basically a, a gist of uh, asymptotic notation. We'll get more into uh, into these sort of uh, theories later on, uh, but just kind of a gist of how it works. And so in the next few tutorials, we'll be learning about algorithms and such. And once we have a, a base foundation of more of the basic algorithms, then we'll readdress uh, asymptotic notation and we'll get into big O notation, big data, uh, uh, big Omega and so on and so forth and try to get more more detail on how to measure efficiency so anyways that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe don't forget to like my page on Facebook follow on Twitter and don't forget to sign up on my website so thanks and bye for now